Hi, and welcome to Rank Watch. Today, we'll be going over the ranking overview and we'll explain all its different functionalities within the tutorial. So, moving through the tutorial now, as you can see, if you click on the ranking overview tab on the left hand side, you'll be able to see a complete list of all the keywords you're tracking, along with a lot of additional information which we'll cover as we move through the tutorial. In this dashboard, you can actually see the search engines you're actually looking to track the keywords for. So, if you click here, you'll see a drop down and you can see the projects which are listed. So for our example, for Hotels.com, we're tracking four keywords across the search engines, i.e. Google UK, Google US, and Bing UK, and also Badoo. As you can see here, it actually lists the total number of keywords for the project, how many keywords have moved up or moved down since the previous day. And this is listed on the donut graph on the right-hand side. As you can see from the Hotels.com report, we're actually tracking 24 keywords. Two have actually moved down and four have moved up. You also have a bar graph here which gives you a single overview about the keywords you're ranking across different ranges. And the ones that have had positive impact, negative impact, and the keywords which have gone up or down have actually had no changes in ranking since the previous day. So if we look into our example report and actually take the cursor over the keyword drop down box, it tells you which two keywords have gone up since the previous day. And if you click the box here, it will actually tell you which keywords have dropped and what their previous rankings were. Also, as you can see here, we've got a date range, which as we all know is quite common within the softwares, but you know, we need to add it. So if you've got any reports which you need to pull off for a previous day for a client or for your management team, you'd be able to do that here. Right, as we scroll down, you'll be able to see the keywords we're tracking for your project along with their current rank. You can also see the initial rank, plus the highest rank the keywords achieved since putting the campaign in. Since we're actually tracking the keywords on a daily basis, you'll be able to see the rankings move up or down by these red and green arrows here. So this is quite ideal to have a quick snapshot of the results, so you can make sure you stay ahead of the competition. You'll be able to see here just below the keyword, the URL that it's ranking on. This is key when you're optimizing pages to make sure your potential clients are seeing the landing page you want to display to them. I have seen over the years many landing pages that have been ranking that should not be. This is you know, mainly down to internal link structure, the content on the page, or initially the link building could have been targeted wrong initially. So this is one area that will give you the heads up. What you'll be able to see here just to the right of the keyword is some additional information. When we're actually tracking your keyword, we don't just look for it being on the web results. We actually track the local section, the image section, the news section, if any PPC ads are being running, and the video results too. So if we take a look at our example project now and focus on the keyword hotels for instance. When we move the mouse over the extra ranking columns, we can see that there's three local results, no image results, no news results, 10 total ads, it's first position for the keyword, and there's no video results. And when you go across, we've actually added the monthly search volumes in there for you as well. So when you're pulling off your reports, you can segment this if it's by search volume, your position, or what's dropped the most since the previous day. So it just makes it easier for you to compile your reports for your clients or your management team. And the last section here is a page score which we give to that URL. So what this does is it looks at all the on-page measures through the web analyzer tool we've got and it ranks it. So if you've got a weak page, there's obviously some key issues which you can address. And if you actually go through and have a look at the web analyzer section, this will be covered in more detail for you. So that's the end of that section. But as with all of our features on RankWatch, if you look up at the top right on the side, you'll be able to download this report into a CSV or PDF just by clicking the icon. So I hope you found this tutorial of use. If you do have any questions, please drop us a line at support at rankwatch.com and we'll be happy to help.